How many of you have bought a house recently in the bidding war? In the bidding, Vancouver's bidding war? Okay, there's one, a couple. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna tell you uh, some bidding war strategies that, um, that may apply to you as a first time home buyer and may also apply to a seasoned uh, buyer. So one of the first things you do is you have to determine market value. So you work with your realtor to find uh, what it's worth, use comparables in the, in the area. And then the second thing is you have to determine your willingness to pay, okay? So um, your willingness to pay is basically what you're willing to pay for it, okay? Just because it's worth a million dollars doesn't mean you're gonna pay a million dollars, okay? So, one of the, so I, I usually go through this kind of uh, talk with my clients who, who wanna buy a place that's probably gonna go through a bidding war. I go through the market value, I go through the willingness to pay, and when, I re when, when we come to the conclusion, like, they wanna buy it, they wanna win the bidding war, what do I do, Gary? And I say, okay, now we're ready. You wanna write a subject offer or a subject free offer? So uh, most of you have bought a place, so subject offer means you have subject to financing, subject to home inspection, subject to a bunch of stuff. Subject free, obviously no subjects, okay? Uh, obviously, sellers prefer a subject-free offer when you're competing in a bidding war. It's basically usually the subject-free offers are uh, going to win the bidding war. I've only encountered a few situations where the subject offer won over a subject-free offer, and that was because the subject offer was significantly higher than the subject-free offer in terms of price. Okay, so. Uh, how many of you, uh, so those who have been in a bidding war, there's a couple of you, right? Did you guys have to write a, did you guys show a copy of your bank draft? No, okay. So here's a strategy. If you, if you find yourself in a bidding war, um, obviously you ask the, the listing agent, what are the, the seller's interests? Uh, are they, they wanna move quickly? Uh, they, they want to uh, lease back? lease the, the place back and, and you find out what they're interested in and then you try to incorporate some interest-based negotiations, which I'll talk about later. And then what you do is you try to, um, you know, you find out if there's anything other than the price that you can negotiate on. And then you incorporate that into your offer, try to make it as, uh, you know, as attractive as possible, put a, put a decent deposit down, like 5% usually, uh, put a copy, photocopy of your bank draft uh, that shows the seller you're quite serious. So that is um, one of the strategies. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's that. I think that's all I need to talk about that. There's more tips and stuff to watch out for in my book on uh, first few chapters.